All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. I know some of you guys miss my voice, man, <laughs> on this channel. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, once the RV happens, the Iraqi Dinar revaluation, uh, for you people that are new, that's what I'm talking about when I say RV. Once that happens, and once the Vietnamese Dong revalues as well and some other currencies, um, or once I just remove my workload, okay, um, when I'm in a position, maybe maybe the stocks plunge or something like that, and I'm able to sell the four stocks, um, I still haven't sold any of the four stocks yet. I've, I've held on to it. I've added more of my positions, continue to add my positions until we see the plunge, and the plunge uh, of the stock market could come, could might might never come, right? And I know we're I know we're think we 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 want it to come, we, and we wanted to see the markets go back to reality uh, and to a fair market value, um, which is around six to eight thousand, uh, you know. And some many people have had dreams that the markets went back to six to eight thousand range. Okay, so. Uh, even somebody had a dream that Donald Trump went on the stage and and said that the market was distressed because the markets had crashed. Okay, I know the Feds are calling for negative interest rates and and, and more debt and more debt and more debt. The debt bubble is going to burst at some point, right? And so we we don't want the debt bubble hanging over our heads going into the new paradigm, going into our new season. And so the reason why I'm bringing this 400 year thing up because it's about to end for the U.S. Congress. Okay, now for us the 400 years already ended. Right. And so the 400 years has already ended. Most of most of the, um, you know, calendars and stuff ended it around March, April. OK. But for the United States government, it ends on um, July 1st, 2020. OK. So July 1st, 2020, the year of 400 uh, African-American uh, History Commissions Act ends. I want to see a whole bunch of stuff before this thing ends. I want to see the debt bubble burst. And debt bubble maybe bursts on that day. I don't know. Or be I want to see the debt bubble burst before that before that this ends. I want to see um we already seen the like the plagues and stuff, right? Cuz you know, that that's expected, you know what I mean? Um and uh for you people that know about the 400 years and the end of the uh Deuteronomy, the curses of Deuteronomy in the Bible. And then, and then, um, and then the plagues shall come upon the people, um, you know, that basically were, were, you know, were the ones responsible for enslaving, um, those of the chosen, the chosen ones, right? And so the plagues come upon the earth, the seven plagues or whatever, wherever it is, the seven plagues or nine plagues, whatever it is. Um, not saying that everybody's going to be affected by the plague, because if you're a part of Yeshua's kingdom, you are chosen, right? Um, anybody who accepts Yeshua is chosen. So the plagues are not going to be upon you. That's why uh, when people are like, I'm scared about the plagues. And I'm like, are you, aren't you, are you, if you're saved and you have picked Yeshua and Yeshua is your savior, what plagues are you talking about are going to be coming upon you? Okay. Now we can't walk out here acting stupid. Okay. We have to understand that. Yes. Um, uh, even though they're, you know, that we are chosen, we still can't be stupid. We will be protected and, and, and we will be covered by the blood, but we still cannot be out here stupid. We can't, let's not test God and, and, and Yeshua and the Holy Spirit, right? Let's be careful still. Let, let's understand that these plagues are coming, that there's plagues coming upon the earth and the seals are opening up and things like that. But this is interesting because it's all happening around this 400 time period. Um, and we're seeing it with our own eyes uh, happen a lot more. And it's going to be a lot more in this decade. Right. And so um, and this and this 400 for the, for the United States Congress ends on July 1st, 2020. OK, so. That's really interesting. Um, and another thing is California, L.A. You know, L.A. might go to all of California, but right now it's Los Angeles, California. Extended its a lockdown until July, right? So for another three months, basically, May, June, and July for another three months. So that's interesting as well because we're in this pharaoh thing where let my people go and the liberals are refusing to let the people go. They're extending, all the numbers are down. 
right? All the, the infection numbers are down, all uh, the cases are down, everybody's realizing that these numbers are fake because they're using numbers with that the people, have, they're using heart attacks and, and diabetes and, and all other things that people are dying from and they're putting, and they're putting the, you know, COVID on there. So everybody knows this is fake and, and so, and, and yet they're extending till July. Most, and, and this is most of the liberals uh, state. So, the liberals want to keep people down, people inside, and destroy, uh, basically destroying the economy, destroying small businesses. Uh, they want people on socialism. That's why they're keeping people in. Just stay home. We'll 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 pass bills, you know, bills for you, and we'll pay you. You'll we'll pay you, you know, a thousand dollars or two thousand or twelve hundred dollars a month. Just stay home. You know, get comfortable with socialism. That's what they want. Right, that they want they want people to stay home and see socialism is good. You get a check from the government every month, and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to run a business. You don't have to pursue your goals. You just sit at home and play video games all day, and we'll cut you a check for uh, twelve hundred dollars. If you have kids, we'll add another, you know, maybe two thousand dollars per, you know, eight hundred dollars more per kid. Look, socialism is great. You know, this is this is what they want. They they want to do this. They they want to push the socialism on, and because they want people to, they want to kill people's dreams. They want to kill people's goals, and 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 they want to kill people's desires to work and and, and to build a business and build empires because they want to. Because since they're the elites, they don't want anybody. They don't want any competition. The elites, the cabal, do not want any more competition. They're trying to destroy all competition. You stay at home while we run our Fortune 500 companies and we rule you. Okay? That's the mindset of the elites right now. That's why they're pushing stay home. Destroy your business. Stay home. We'll cut a check for you and you'll be under our control. And that's what the New World Order is, mind control. You'll be under our control, and we'll and we'll, we'll enslave you. But if we're giving you money, you will follow our rules. You see how that works? See when you when you're doing your own thing and you have your own business, they can't tell you what to do. Okay, they can just put out general laws and things like that. But when you're now collecting checks from the government, you're gonna do what the government says. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nothing around that. You will do what the government says when you're collecting checks from the government. You see how that works? That's why you should not be collecting checks from the government because you will be doing what the government says. Oh, really? You collected, let's see, you, you've collected $6,000 from us and you're saying that you won't take this poison vaccine? Oh, okay, we'll come into your house then and we're going to collect, we're, we're, we're going we're, we're gonna to pull you out your house. How about that? <laughs> right? So be careful. Because you, some of you guys are like, man, I get to sit home and collect government money. Yeah. Wait until they start telling you to do stuff that you don't want to do. You're going to have a problem. Okay? So be careful collecting government money and, and thinking everything is good because it's not. Okay? I mean, when you sit at home and collect government money, you're basically saying, I'm, I'm, I'm now worthless to the, to the United States of America. Okay, that I need to, I need you to stay home and collect the check. Also, that means that the dollar is going to start devaluing. So now I mean, you're going to have a devalued currency and hyperinflation. So now everything is going to get expensive. Oil is going to uh, ga gas prices. Uh, uh, a gallon of milk is going to go from a you know two dollars, dollar fifty, two dollars, whatever price it is, to fifteen dollars per gallon. Uh, orange juice and and just local normal egg foods like eggs and and bread are going to be worth a thousand percent higher than it was before, and that's the trick. That's the trick because you're gonna think, oh man, I'm getting two thousand dollars a month to stay at home chilling, playing video games all day, but then all of a sudden the food prices are gonna go through the roof, and then so is everything else, and then you're not you're gonna be priced out. And you're going to be like, wait a minute, this $2,000 check doesn't give me anything. I'm done. I don't even have a job now. I don't have a career. I'm done. All right? So you get this $2,000 check, and yet everything is priced a 1,000% higher, and now you're done. And that's what happened in Venezuela and Cuba and everywhere else that practices this socialism stuff where you sit at home and get checks. Okay? So... <laughs> 
you get priced out. Things are massively expensive, okay? Uh, going to the movies is going to cost you $5,000, okay, when this happens. And that's the problem. See, they, they don't, see, the problem is they don't tell you this stuff. They just make it look like it's all good, right? Oh, you know, here comes another two thousand dollars. We 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 project a two thousand dollars a month stimulus package for everybody, all the people that are at home, and we want to keep it that way until the COVID is over. COVID has been over. They won't tell you that though, right? Um, I mean, look at the numbers. I mean, numbers are literally down to the ground. Of like, <laughs> some place, many places around the world are maybe seeing one infection a day. But they want to pretend that it's continuing to go on and so that you can practice socialism and you can love socialism so then they, they can then control you and then destroy you under socialism like they've done everybody else. They hate capitalism for, for you because they want to control you. They love capitalism for themselves, but not for you. They want to destroy you under socialism. Okay, they want to control you. So I want to see what happens in this bill here. I want to see if Donald Trump, because I did say I, I saw a quick vision of Donald Trump signing a, um, a, a signing some type of check or some type of economic reform check or something to African Americans. Okay, so I I saw that with one of my videos. I was doing a video on Patreon, and I and I, and I for some reason I just saw Donald Trump signing some type of bill or some type of paycheck or something, some type of check to the African Americans. And I don't know if it was five trillion dollars or or fifty trillion. I don't know what it was, but I it was it, I just seen it out the blue, and I know somebody else has saw has saw has uh, had a dream about it or something like that. I'm not sure. Somebody else talked about reparations. Uh, to the African Americans, so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But um, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not. We're not. We should not be depending on on Donald Trump to cut a check for you, okay? Um, but if he does, that's a bonus, okay? But if he doesn't, then I'm not worried about it, you know. And like we we have we we have our silver. We have you guys have your gold and silver. You have your cryptocurrencies. Now you have some of you guys have the four stocks and there's a lot of other investments that you guys can do when real estate markets come down here in June and July. Um, you know, you guys can be able to buy up real estate and, uh, and, you know, and maybe get some property and, and, uh, and start, you know, renting it out and things like that to generate income. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do to make money in this time period. And, um, you know, for you guys that remember the video I did on Tezos, uh, a few a few months back um, on this channel, and I said Tezos was the one that the uh, coin for Cliff High. Tezos gives out dividends, right? And uh, for you people that are in Tezos, you know that you get dividends, you get you staking, staking rewards, you get dividend payments out all the time. Like literally, sometimes it's every two days, sometimes it's every three days, sometimes it's every four days, which you're getting payments every week. So, um, you know, Matt, so, I mean, you guys can, you know, that's another way of income stream, you know, of uh, dividend, crypto dividend coins, you know, search for crypto dividend coins and just, you know, earn, right? Earn free, earn free dividends, earn free crypto, you know, while, while holding the coin, you know, let the coin work for you that way. Okay. So anyways, enough talking about this. Um, I guess we'll see how it plays out. Um. You know, July first, twenty twenty is coming up. There wasn't a, there wasn't a bill. There was a bill for an extension, and I did post it on Twitter. And I said I never saw this bill before, but I don't think it be. I don't. It never came into law, is because uh, I have I don't see it in the law. It was a bill, but it was never into law. It looks like and uh, Cassandra said it was the Democrats that were trying to extend it till, um, you know, till uh, July first, twenty twenty two. And so I wonder why the Democrats are trying to do that. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we don't have to get into that. We, we already know what the Democrats do. Um, but yeah, so this law is going to be ending July 1st, 2020. And um, for you guys that didn't see it again, I'm going to scroll down and you can see it there. You could also go to it yourself, HR 1242, uh, 115th Congress. Okay, and uh, you can see here, this uh, commission shall uh, terminate on July 1st, 2020. So we'll see how this all plays out. We'll see if the RV can, if the, we see the RV before this day or after this day. 
We'll see if the uh, real estate market is crashing uh, before this day or after. We'll see if Donald Trump cuts any type of reparations check as well, which will which would only help his uh, presidential campaign, right? Um, you know, and uh, bring in all the African-American votes uh, his way. I mean, he would win by a landslide if he did cut some type of reparation check. I mean, he is cutting, I mean, he is the, allowing the feds to, to print unlimited amount of money. Okay, so the feds can inject a limited amount of money into the into, into the uh, stock market. He, he's putting up a $3 trillion plan for infrastructure. So it's literally the right time to, to, to do something like this. If they're going to make a move on any type of reparations, this is the time to do it. When the feds are printing unlimited amount of money, this will be the time to do it. There's no other time in history that better than this time where the feds are literally just printing unlimited amount of money. Okay, so I, but if, is he gonna do it? I don't know, and I'm not relying on it <laughs> at all. I've never, I'm never going to rely on anything that the government does. Okay, um, so not relying on it. Don't really care. I didn't receive a stimulus check. I don't care about none of that stuff. I, I have, you know, I, I do my own thing, and uh, and you know, and that's that's it. Okay, I, we don't need. You should not need after what cryptos have done for us and uh, and all the things that you can do online and all the businesses that you can run online there should be no need to be depending on reparations or or some type of uh stimulus check if you've been following me for years now there should be no need but if you've been following me for years and have done nothing then of course you are probably in the ballpark of needing uh government assistance but you know, maybe by the time this uh, ends, uh, you, you know, the RV would already happen in the Vietnamese Dong. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Either way, peace out. God bless. And I'll see you guys later. Eyes open.